The sequence of measurements can be saved as data files in the native format, such as these LVAC Phi SPE multipack files. And if we select one of these in the Convert to VAMAS dialog window and press Open, then you can see that a new VAMAS file has been created. It's in the same directory as the original SPE files and has been opened within CASXBS as a VAMAS file. Now, alternatively, we could go to the File menu and select the Convert and Merge option. And this time, I'm going to select the SPE files omitting this VAMAS file that I've previously created. And when I say open, what it will do is it'll go through and it'll read each one of these SPE files and convert it to the VAMAS format. And then it's going to open it as a single VAMAS file. So you can see that, that the files included a set of survey spectra and various files that contained high resolution spectra, all measured from samples that currently have been specified as being data set 0, 1, 2, etc. However, if you go to the edit mode, you can see that the identifier that was within the data file shows that, that the, these survey data go with these high resolution spectra. And there are two survey spectra that don't have high resolution spectra with them. When presented with some data, the first thing that you might like to do is just check that the data makes sense. And one of the ways you can do this is, first of all, just using the element library. So, for example, we might want to know what this peak here might be. And if we click and we look for a possible candidate, and sodium-1s is a very likely candidate here, and you can see that it puts up markers showing that you've got various other sodium peaks. So th that now makes sense that we've got a pattern match for sodium. And then the next thing we might want to do is create some regions and just make sure that these sodium peaks are properly calibrated uh, in terms of intensity. So let's bring up the annotation dialog window and we'll illustrate a feature here that relies on the element library. So you can see the peak labels. There's a list here showing the sodium peaks. And the reason that this list is showing is because I've got the sodium button pressed on the periodic table. If I deselect that, you can see they go away. So we'll press that again. And the idea is that we go through and we identify a couple of these peaks. So there's a sodium 1s and a sodium 2s. The sodium 2s is up here, sodium 1s is down here. So if I select these and I label them, that indicates which of these peaks are the sodium 1s and 2s. But more importantly, when I bring up the quantification parameters dialog window, there is a button here that says create from labels. Now, typically you would only create one region per element because you want to quantify how much sodium, you don't need two peaks. But in this case, I want to just verify that these peaks are comparable in this, this measurement. So I'm going to create a region on each one of these and I'm using create from labels. So we can see here we've got a, a sodium 1s and I'll just make an adjustment to that. And then there's the 2s, we'll make adjustment to the sodium 2s and we'll bring up the annotation again and we'll just put up a region quantification and that's very reassuring we have got sodium 1s sodium 2s these are opposite ends of the kinetic energy range and we've got a one-to-one -one relationship so it looks like this is a valid measurement so having created this let's now have a look at how these other survey spectra compare when looking at these two sodium peaks. So I've got the propagation dialog window up and I'm using and propagating regions and the annotation table and we'll just propagate to these other survey spectra that are selected and we'll have a look through these. Now that is not behaving the way we'd expect. You'd like that to be 50-50 that's close to 50-50, close to 
50-50. So in fact, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all have characteristics for this sodium that mean that you can quantify using either of these peaks. However, the first one, this is not true. That in fact, there's something different about this measurement, and you can see that the ratio of these peaks is not what you'd expect, and they ought to be 50-50.